Good morning everyone, it's Carl. I am doing a quick comparison between the Maui uh, demo application that Microsoft provide against the Xamarin Forms demo application. Now the, when I say demo application, basically it's when you go file new, uh, file new and uh, create a new project uh, and it gives you the templated options. Now I don't know if actually the Maui stuff does, it just, oh yeah it does. So pretty much exactly the same as the Xamarin Forms. So I can't do that, so that is the Xamarin Forms one. Um, so this is what we made yesterday and we talked about the, the flyout menu and the tab menu being a shell and we just made a blank Xamarin Forms application. With regards to the Maui selection, now you can't Unfortunately, you cannot make a Maui application without downloading Visual Studio Preview 2022. Um, but it is quite easy to locate online. So if you want to have a play with Maui, which I recommend you do download, because I want to really demonstrate that there's no reason that you can't get into Xamarin Forms now, ready for Maui uh, becoming uh, available to you. Uh, so this is the Maui project and I don't know if it does pop up because I wasn't really paying any attention. So it doesn't really pop up with the, the shell options, the fly out stuff yet on the preview. But uh, in terms of, let me just close this, open project and let's open demo one. So this is one that I was playing with yesterday. It is Sunday, I've got a cup of tea, I am still very tired with my tea from Alton Towers, a cup of, my cup from Alton Towers. Um, right, okay, so we look, we have, again, this is why I think that people shouldn't be scared of learning Xamarin Forms right now, because if you look at the syntax for the UI, uh, it is exactly the same. We've got labels, we've got uh, grids or stack layouts, um, we've got um, buttons, they're all, and this Maui project, this side, are all copied over from Xamarin Forms. So everything that you learn in Xamarin Forms will be just transferable over. I think some of the niceties that the Maui stuff has is obviously it's using the handlers instead of um, renderers, uh, so it should speed things up, and obviously it's built on .NET 6, so obviously I think um, Xamarin Forms architecture is fairly old now, um, even using some mono stuff, but um, with regards to what I do, I, I've only been a developer for about a year and a half, so I've really only worked with Xamarin Forms, a bit of React and TypeScript, so I'm still learning this and I'm getting ready to make a new um, project in Maui, so what I'm doing over the next couple of weeks is checking out uh, what works and what doesn't. Um, I have downloaded, I showed it the other day, a great repo source for uh, anybody who wants to get into Xamarin Forms where you can download and um, explore code. So I've downloaded this repo here, so all credit goes to the, this chap here who can get onto it. Um, and it's just a basic layout, so I'm going to copy that across to the Maui project and just make sure it all loads and works correctly. I was actually just looking at this code for the Maui project, so I'm just going to run it. Um, it seems strange uh, that um, that it's using a grid layout. So just to confirm a couple of these aspects of uh, the UI that comes with this boilerplate code, um, it's got a, a scroll view, which is essential if you're on a small device uh, and your layout's too big. It makes it so you can scroll, keep scrolling to, to view all the layout. Um, it's also got this grid with some, every item within the grid has a row spacing and the rows have been given um, an auto definition so they did not specify, you know, the top row having a, a height, you know, one, two, five, etc. cetera. Um, what's quite strange is that they've used a grid um, for this layout because it's a linear layout. Everything is going cascading down the screen, uh, which would strike me interesting, I don't know if there's any performance benefits to using a grid because uh, you could just use a stack layout in this scenario. A stack layout would just give you everything linear as you go down the screen. Um, so 
yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe somebody can help help me with that in the comments to why they've used that. Um, so let's have a look at this sample code. Let me uh, have I downloaded it. Yeah, I've extracted it. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the project to open. Ah, that's the one. So look at this code here. Oh, sorry, just to give you a quick overview. Some of the main differences from a quality of life perspective for the Maui project is this. Um, it's extremely difficult, um, and I believe that now Maui has um, the ability to support um, SVGs. It's always been a bit of a pain to do all the icons, because um, you, you'd have to make all the icons the right size for Apple um, in the um, asset um, catalogues. Uh, so you'd have to make it, and there are tools online to help with that, but you'd have to copy them over manually and you'd have to add all your, in the Android project, uh, you'd have to add all your images into either do all your icons in these folders to make sure they scale well, um, but you'd have to add all your drawables in there and it just sometimes made it a little bit tedious. But with the Maui stuff, you can simply put everything into the shared um, shared folder, which is great. Um, a great example of dry principles, actually, so you're not repeating yourself all over the place. But um, So, the architecture uh, hasn't really changed, so you can still follow the MBVM pattern. Uh, they have actually been doing a lot of uh, videos recently on um, MVU, uh, using the comment, Comet um, syntax that's been introduced. I think that's just been merged into the main uh, branch. Um, but I don't know if, how, how much research has, has gone into it. not really looked at it, but it does look a little bit like Blazor style coding where it's um, you put app code at the bottom and you can put your code all on the screen in one, one file. not sure if it's for me. I'm quite a fan of MVVM. I like, the, I like knowing that any melodic stuff is separated into its own, um, own view model. And I think that helps when you want to recreate a, um, if you want to rewrite a UI page, you don't need to rewrite your back end. You can just make a new page and link it up through a connection. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's interesting. I think it might attract more people from the web dev world though with the MVU stuff. I think it's, it's positive that there's other options. There is a chap as well on, uh, who does all of his UI in C Sharp. Which looks hard to me. It looks like a lot of hard work, so I haven't tried that. Mm. So if we have a quick look at the um, structure again. So um, the main points are that there's going to be a lot of quality of life going into um, Maui. will be a lot easier to get going. Um, they are uh, big fans now of uh, the Shell, the Shell navigation system, which is a URI-based URL, a URI based navigation system. Um, I didn't. I did try it, and I didn't like it at first because um, I didn't like the fact that I was passing a couple of objects around, um, and it didn't la allow for that. So you could put like an ID or a string or some ID string that you pass through to another page. Uh, but I believe that that might be on a a, a change request on on GitHub. So. Hopefully that comes through because it is nice to have the flexibility if you do want to pass an object in the other occasion. Um, but I suppose there are other ways around that, making globals, etc. Okay, so what I'll do then, let's have a look at this Facebook UI. Again, I'm not claiming this is my UI. I haven't made it, um, but I, um, I'm a, quite a big advocate of looking at how people um, make the UIs because I'm always uh, interested in improving, improving my, um, and I, I, I would just share a couple of great uh, Xamarin Forms community sharers. So this, uh, this, this lady here, um, Zam Girl, she does some fantastic posts on um, anything Xamarin Forms related, and obviously this will be migrating over to Maui, I'm sure. Um, but ask Sammy as well. Her um, her blog posts are extremely good, well detailed, and um, the layout stuff that she does is um, just makes our life easier, really, because how she breaks it down into sections. It's a good way to learn uh, how to produce fantastic UIs.
So I'm just going to quickly uh, try and replicate this in the Maui project. So I'm just going to have a look how this one's set up. Uh, so we've got the three projects in this Xamarin Forms application. Only one page, so this is what we've got in pretty much in the uh, demo, um, the main demo. Uh, you don't have to call your app, your your um, your home. You don't have to call this uh, main page, by the way. Um, so if you added another page on here, you just change what it points to. So it's the root page of your um, Xamarin Forms app is called main page. I think it's just a poor example of naming convention to call the first page main page. It might confuse uh, new starters, but um, so for example, this might point to new, new uh, home page. Um, but uh, we could do uh, some videos on making a nice little three or four page application. So if I can snap that to here, try and yeah, I'm working. I've got three screens, but I'm working off my laptop because I'm not a YouTuber. I'm using the laptop camera and the laptop sound system, so it probably sounds pretty poor. Um, so this is our Maui app to this side, and this is the Xamarin Forms layout for the um, Facebook login. It's, it looks quite nice. It's got um, so it's got a section up here. Uh, I don't know if they're using a the grid yet. So we've got some entry fields, a couple of buttons. Maybe that will be um, a line break or frame or something like that. So let's have a look at the code. Um, so on the actual layout for this, bring the actual thing back on the screen. So we've got a scroll, a stack layout to start with. Now I'm not sure if you actually need to, because every layout that you do is additional rendering. So I wouldn't be sure if you needed that. Perhaps you could get away with just starting with a, uh, starting with a uh, scroll view. But uh, inside the scroll view, this is where the actual layout begins. So again, you've got so so the stat layout is your outer div. Okay, and then within that, you've got a grid which could be this first quarter of the screen, then your stat layout and a stat layout. So again, a div being able to take multiple items and a stat layout would just be linear down. So I can't see uh, any issues with this design. Perhaps um, it would be interesting, you could probably do the same design with a grid system, but for the whole thing. But Let's just have a quick look at this now. Can I make it a little bit better? There we go. And take that up to 200. Um, so we have, I'm interested in this grid. What's the grid for? Okay, so the grid isn't actually to place the items in separate areas of the screen. The grid is actually being used to do layering, like a Z index. So what this is actually doing here is just placing uh, one layout on top of the other to get an effect. So that, that layout there is your blue background with um, pertinent about dark blue. It's got a, an image, the heart image, which uh, we should put it open. And we've got the Facebook logo. And these, now I don't really use absolute layout, but um, it's interesting. I don't really see that in exa examples using it really. Um, so I think this is basically to place those around this section using an absolute layout. Um, yeah, I don't really use it, but we're going to copy the code over and make sure it all works in in um, Xamarin, uh, in Maui even. Um, and then that's really just that blue section, that grid is that blue section, and it's only being used to layer layer the, um, the structure of that section to put. Now you could do this in a different way, really. Um, I'm not sure the, the benefits of using that structure here. Yeah, I suppose it, 
it gives you more finite control with the absolute layout of where you want to place these aspects. Um, and then you've got this stack layout, which is this bit here. A stack layout that's got a horizontal, which is meaning that instead of going all the way down, it's going all the way across. It's quite a nice use of that. I do use those things uh, like stack layouts, horizontal like that to um, get more on screen. And then following that one, with a bit of padding, so there's 40 padding there. That's 40 padding all round actually, so uh, if you're just doing it on the top, it would be something like 0 left, 40 top, 0 right, 40 bottom. Obviously I'm not running this so we won't see that. But um, And everything's got space and then these are just your entry fields. Um, interestingly, um, you can, because the entry fields might look slightly different on iOS, so you can actually style them uh, using some custom render a code that's freely available and you know, there's many examples of that so you can um, you can either have this line not showing which I think might be nicer or you can have um, you could even wrap it in a frame to put like a box around the entry so it stands out more um, and then there's just the box view so the box view is actually being used to good effect here to make the border so if you look here you've got a line So we've gone past the entries, so there are entries there. We've got a button, which is the login. We've got um, just a label for have you forgot your password. Now so that's got some, uh, so because they've done spacing, and this is quite good actually, because they've done spacing at the higher level, at the container level, it means that they haven't had to go on each one of these and put margin after each one. Um, so if you didn't do that, you'd have to go uh, zero margin top, zero margin bottom, uh, sorry, left, right, um, and then you'd have to do 20 at the bottom like that. And if you did that on every label and you wanted to change it, it'd be a nightmare because it'd take you so much time to change your code. So that spacing is working to a great effect in this scenario. Um, Let's just check if there's anything else. Yeah, I like this. I really like this because um, it's it's a really nice effect. You know, it breaks up the text, it breaks up the buttons, and it gives um, the user a visible indication of the separation between these two areas. Uh, let's just try. Um, let's just try and copy it over. So let's just take it all. And we'll take that. See, in this example here. There is no um, stack layout. Now, if we try and run this in this Maui project, oh, I don't think it will run properly. I think because we've got half the images are missing. But we'll just run it. Um, initialize, counter labels, right, okay. So on that previous Maui example, we'll just go back. Um, if you look here, there'll be a button um, and it's got a clicked event on it. So that clicked event, when you make a clicked event, it's it's produced in the back end CS of the UI. So what we need to do if we delete this UI is we need to make sure that anything that's attached to the UI is deleted as well. So let's just um, let's just put it back in. We'll clean up the code behind as well. So if I go to build at the top here. Um, and then we'll clean up this. So we don't need the count anymore. We don't need this. Now, um, if I can't do any uh, teaching of C-sharp in, in this really uh, overview, but um, all that was doing is every time you hit the click button, this event is being called and it's incrementing the count by one and it's updating the UI. So obviously there was a, a there was a uh, counter label dot text which is being updated uh, with the count number as you do it um, so we don't need the button doesn't exist anymore so we don't need that and we don't need that really clean this up okay hopefully this runs Is it high? 
right in. Okay, so this is the Maui um, Maui project running. Looks obviously exactly like the uh, example code, but we haven't got the icons. So let me just add those in now. I'm just going to look into the downloaded application and get the URL for drawables. Okay, let's add them from there. So we'll stop this whilst we're adding the assets to the images folder. Now, add existing item. And let's put in that um, four images. We go. Now I don't know if this is going to work because when the original code was written, it would be pointing to image sources, and they might just be relative to the folder structure that was set up before. But we'll try it. So obviously the, the deeper you nest your images, if it was in a subfolder called um, home page images, you'd have to adjust the source to represent uh, home page, uh, so it'd be images, forward slash home page images, and then name the, the one that you're after. We have a couple of errors here, what's happening? Hmm, could be an issue with Maui. So we can try and clean the solution. We can try rebuild it. Okay, lots of errors. I don't think adding those pictures should make errors, but um, all we can do is close it. Um, we want to open Visual Studio 2022 preview. Just uh, have to do so. Maui image, Maui image, Maui image. Okay. I have no idea what's going on here. Well, this is a great example. Maybe that Maui has got some bugs in that isn't quite ready. Added some images to the images folder. Okay. Well, let's take those out, men. I wonder. Yeah. All PNGs, but. So let's try and fix it very quickly. What is image? Let's take that one out as well. Let's see if this just fixes it. bad to worse so this is the experience that I'm going to have trying to make this new application then perhaps Maui isn't quite ready but the illustration is really there to say learn Xamarin forms and you'll be fine for Maui um, the only thing I could try and do is take these out Well, I think it's time for another cup of tea and we'll leave it there for today. Is it going to work? Obviously that's not the one that we're using, is it? 
that the um, yeah that's the actual Zammer and Forms one. We might be building now. Let's try and just add one image. The add images. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe it was picking up those named locations and it was failing on that. So um, add a new item. Add a new item. Oh. Add an existing item even. Do the Facebook Circle logo. Facebook Circle logo. And let's add it to the source here, which is a hundred height. So source equals dot PNG maybe. change in the build? I don't know. Yeah, definitely the right name. And let's just uh, save it, restart. So there is a hot reload version. Yeah. Okay. What size is that? 96 pixels. Don't know what's wrong with this. I think we'll probably leave the uh, video there to be fair. I just wanted to give you a, a brief overview of um, how the layout structure, so whatever you create, the layout structure can be carried over. There might be some teething problems at the moment because it isn't, it's still in preview. Um, but yeah, it looks all good to me uh, in terms of uh, compatibility with an existing because we do have a, a production app which uh, is heavily invested into Xamarin Forms and it um, I purposely designed it in such a way that there isn't that many um, NuGet packages, third party packages. There's um, probably about three. There's a pancake which makes fancy shadow FX and borders etc. But, um, but thank you for watching and I'll make another video soon. Cheers.